Hello YouTube, this is Engineer Pat 5290 coming to you live from the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. Uh, right here we are coming across an E44 electric locomotive. These were built for Pennsylvania and also New Haven and they were later into the Conrail years as well. See these got the little panic rapids on top and there's the inside of the cab. Some of these exhibits you can actually go inside and take a look at the controls. And some of them, I, they ask you to stay off of it. But here we have a Pennsylvania boxcar. There's a Conrail locomotive over here that is open, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Here's one of the uh, boxcars. And here's another Pennsylvania electric locomotive. Let's see what this is up here. Let's see what model this is. It's Pennsylvania Road 5690. Built at Juniana Shops. How about that? Built at Juniana Shops. Shops. It's a B1. It's a B1 electric locomotive. And here's one of the passenger cars. And they've got steam engines here as well. But we'll get to those in a minute. See here we have a Penn, a Penn Central covered hopper. I think it's a PS2000 model. Let's see. The PS2 series. It's this has been renovated by the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum. It was built in January of 1975. Actually, built in June of 55. I'm sorry. There it is, right there. My apologies. As you can see, it is in the jade green inheritance of the New York Central. Here's an old cup, uh, hopper built in 1964 for the Pennsylvania Railroad. They even have model train displays here too, which I'll get coverage of here in just a minute. And here we're coming across one of the E units of the Pennsylvania. I believe this might be an E7. Look at this. Let's see what it is. E7, I was right on the money. E7. Built in 1945. I can't believe it. It is the beautiful brown paint scheme of the Pennsylvania Railroad. As we come on across to the back side of the unit. Good, how are you? Man, that is one screaming machine, baby. And here we have a, a 460 Pennsylvania steam engine, number 5741, built at Juniana Shops, now the former Pennsylvania, now former Conrail um, Shops. Just look at this. This is just gorgeous. This model here is a, is a G5S 10-wheeler. It has 10 wheels up there, six drivers and four wheels on the front. That gives you 10 wheels. And now here is what I absolutely love. I believe this is a GP7 or GP9 Pennsylvania. As you can see, it is open. Here we have the air compressor that, control, that um, generates all the air. And right over here is we're going to look at this huge engine that this thing is powered by. That's a 12-cylinder engine right there. As you can see, there are the openings on where the, uh, where the pistons are. That's really, really neat. Look at that. That's amazing. And a couple of these you can actually go up inside. And I'll get to that in just a minute. And here we have a, um, an 060 switcher. These steam engines were used for primarily switching. And this one here is a B6SB, number 1670. These were primarily used in the yard for switching and classification of the cars. So, I mean, th these are really nice little steamers. And now we're coming up on a Conrail GP30. We'll actually be able to go inside. I'll get to that in just a minute. Here's a Pennsylvania Power and Light um, steamer. It's another 06, an 080 um, steamer. And we're coming up on some uh, model trains as well. And right over there, as I showed you, the Pennsylvania GG1. Uh, 
actually this is, oh yeah, I think this is MTH right here. Look at these beautiful steam engines. They're gorgeous. There's the Dreyfus Hudson, I think. No, that's not it. Got a CSX SD60 coming our way too. to the paint scheme. We have lots of other things here at this museum as well. So I will pause the uh, video here for just a minute. I will be doing part two in just a moment. All right, thank you all for watching part one. Part two coming up next.